So we're talking this week about doing hard things. And I was driving to an appointment this morning. I was thinking about, gosh, it's really interesting as I'm talking to a bunch of my buddies that are leaders and owners in small business and talking about doing hard things or doing things that you have a chance to fail at. Like as leaders, we do every day, right? I'm failing all the time and I'm having successes as well, right? So, but as leaders and owners, that's like doing things that you have a likelihood 50% chance of failing at. We do that pretty frequently. But I was thinking of the context of like doing hard things as well. And I was like, gosh, you know, what's interesting is that so many times, and I'm super judgmental, I can be super arrogant. And one of the things that I do with my judgment, and my arrogance is I take an area that I've actually achieved some mastery in. So maybe it's like showing up for work early, right? As an example, like myself and a couple of my coworkers have already achieved mastery, success, reputation of showing up for work early, but other teammates haven't. And so what, what I do in my arrogance, judgy Jerry, as my wife says, is I take my, my judgy Jerry and I take that, I place that on that, like you should have mastered this too. It's like, well, somebody gave me grace, right? There was some invitation and challenge. I'm 56. I wasn't always this way. Maybe, maybe you were, but I'd argue that you weren't born that way. Somebody got their foot up their, your ass or, you know, this challenged you, encouraged you, whatever. And you started showing up for work early. Instead of being judgmental to the other person, why not get alongside them and help coach them, encourage them if they're coachable. And maybe you need to put your foot up their ass or maybe you need to love them or encourage them, right? This balance of invitation and challenge. But my point this morning is like, get alongside them instead of me being so arrogant and so judgmental, like you should already master this, which is what I do. It's like, that's not healthy, Jerry. What I should do is get alongside them and say, hey, do you see the benefit of you getting to work early, for instance? And, you know, how can I coach you, encourage you, or do you need the carrot or the stick, right? But you, you need to develop the reputation of showing up for work early. That's me trying to coach somebody else. Well, what about the areas that I need to get better at, right? Some areas that I need to lean into. And usually for people like myself, leaders and owners, there's parts of your business, like for me, that I hate to do. Financial infrastructure, while we're super fortunate, blessed, lucky to have a really strong financial infrastructure, it's not because I did it, it's because primarily my father-in-law built it, which is super lucky of me, for me, for me right? But then, but there's parts of the financial infrastructure, there's reports that I don't like to study, but I, I get fed them on a weekly basis and I have to discipline myself to lean into things I don't want to do, which is study some of the financials, um, you know, kind of the scorecard type financials that I need to look at or the cash flow forecast. There's specific things within the financial infrastructure that I don't like to do, but I have to force myself to lean into doing those, right? So within your business, what are some things that you don't like to do, but it would be really healthy for you to lean into those. And what about your personal life? What are some things in my personal life that I don't like to do, but I really should lean into? And for me, historically, it's been like binge eating um, late at night. Like that's one that, that I've shared with some of my buddies over the years. It's like, gosh, you know, it, it, you know, after Kel goes to bed or she doesn't go to bed, after she goes to the TV room and, and I'm alone in, in the, uh, I used to call it the devil's den, because like my binging would take place when I'm by myself and I would call it the devil's den because that's when I'd be exhausted. So just personally, in, in full transparency, um, it's good for me to hear myself say this, is like at night is when I'm the most susceptible to binge eating. And so personally, like leaning into that and saying, all right, so develop the self-discipline to lean into not eating, binging at night. So anyway, there's two of them for me. One is leaning into the discomfort of studying financials. And then the other is the personal one is for me to lean into not binging at night. So I'll keep you posted on how that goes.